Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. So lately, there has been a lot of talk about like containers and Kubernetes and everybody wants to try it out. However, I have not found a good tutorial that it takes you from, like I feel all of them start like, here's basics and then it just runs to, to the end of it. Like here's how you deploy everything. So uh, I decided we're gonna create a tutorial that I go step by step and we're gonna keep improving so like at first like we're not gonna be following best practices and but it'll kind of like hold your hand for the whole uh, process of it so like we're gonna start by creating the resources uh, for this one we're gonna use Azure uh, later I'm gonna create the same but using AWS and one of the great things which leads me to talk about like why is everybody loving it so much so Basically containers, in this case, we're going to use Docker, um, which as you can see here in the logo, uh, it's, it's based on the containers of like, that it's used to ship stuff. So the thing, the reason they use that is because basically what they do is they remove the, it works on my computer kind of uh, problem. And it makes that every application, they package it in a way that it can run anywhere that uh, supports Docker. Um, and it'll run. So it has all your dependencies and all the things that you might need. It's packaged in your application, so it can run everywhere. So moving from your application, if you have it all in Docker containers, from on-premise to the cloud, to either Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud, or Alibaba Cloud, it's no code needs to change. You just grab your uh, deployment uh, and run it. So for that, People you, to manage the containers, people usually use Kubernetes because once you have the container that has the logic, you have to have how you move the, uh, sorry, how many containers of which it has and the scalability and like how, what it connects to what and is this exposed to the internet or is this an internal service and so on. So they use Kubernetes for it. And as you can see, everything keeps the ship kind of uh, uh, terminology. And then to manage Kubernetes, you could do it using uh, commands, but if you want to automate it and make it kind of like, uh, they, if you want to make it kind of like code base kind of thing, you can use uh, Helm, which once again is ship based. And in this one, you can create your charts and in that you specify what you want to connect to what and you specify all the details of your deployment and that one you can change. So as you can see here, uh, they have in test, they have less, then staging they have more and production looks the same as uh, staging. So you, you, can, you can control all that easily with the YAML files. In the next video, we're gonna look at creating the Azure Kubernetes service linking it to the Azure Container Registry um, and start using Azure uh, Dev Spaces. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.